Hi, and welcome to the studio. Choosing the right brush for your oil painting is important, not because there is any one right brush, but because the brush should help with the application of paint and work with you rather than against you. When choosing a brush, you're basically choosing between different bristles, different sizes, and different shapes. Bristles can be natural, usually hog bristle, synthetic, or sable. There are some other options too, or mixes between bristles, but those are the most common. Hog bristle is generally the most textured and the sort of fluffiest, and it holds the most paint. Sable is very soft, uh, quite precise, and really doesn't leave much texture on the paint, so it's great if you want to eliminate brush strokes. Synthetic brushes can come in slightly different textures, but generally speaking are fairly soft, uh, but with a lot of spring to them. So not quite as pliable, let's say, as a sable brush. They're also very precise, so they can be really good for doing uh, very sharp edges. Depending on what you're painting, it might be appropriate to use all three kinds for different parts of the painting, uh, rather than just picking one and sticking with it. Oil paint brushes all have long handles, but the shape of the bristles can be different. The most common shapes are filbert, flat, bright, round, and fan. The shapes affect how the paint is applied to the ground. Good quality brushes can be expensive and the quality does matter to a certain extent. Poor quality brushes can sometimes splay more easily so the bristles kind of like fan out and almost get like split ends in a way. Uh, sometimes the ferrule can start to disintegrate so the ferrule is the metal part that holds all the bristles to the handle. So the glue can weaken there and then the bristles can fall out. What I find to be the most important thing for good quality brushes is of course how they behave but also how they wear over time. Now ideally a brush is something that you want to be able to keep and continue working with and not just have to throw out. So they all undergo some wear with use of course. And if a brush wears really well, uh, say doesn't splay, keeps the bristles, remains soft, and maybe just starts shifting into a softer shape, uh, like a bright might turn into more of like a filbert kind of head, then to me that's a good quality brush. It's something that can last for a while. That being said, if your favorite brush is just, you know, something that was really low quality from the dollar store, let's say, but if it's working for you, that's okay, continue using it. Uh, there's nothing that says you have to use good quality brushes. As long as it's working for you, that's the most important thing. Visit NicoleSleethAtelier.com for art courses, demos, and more.